Hi guys, it's me again, and I wanted to do a quick video on testing um, testing some pigtails for your RGB display, if this is what you're running. I am building, uh, currently, five of these controllers right here. I'll just pan over this way. There's four of them there, and there's one here. And uh, uh, I ordered from Ray Wu um, a bunch of extra pigtails. And uh, all I wanted was just the female ends, and he sold me 50 of the female ends uh, only, and not the whole set, because, well, whenever you build a controller, you need these just for the controller, and I, I obviously use the four-core female. Uh, what I noticed, though, is whenever these arrived, uh, these four cores had uh, a different color wire scheme. They had the normal red, red uh, black, and blue, but then they had the yellow wire. And I thought, uh-oh, because all the other ones that Ray has sent me that were female, um, they were red, blue, black, and green. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you how I tested for continuity of these pigtails so that I knew that whenever, um, whenever I would plug this original wire that I have, I, I still have a bunch of these, and, and many of the other ones that I ordered in already are... Um, uh, this color, the 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 brown here, I always considered that red. It's actually a red now. Um, but I wanted to make sure that this, whenever I plugged it into here, that it was going to be uh, the, that it was going to match up. If I screwed them together and and went to wire this into my display into whatever item on my display I wanted to run, uh, that these four wires were going to be continuous or continuity uh, from this wire to this wire. So. I'm going to show you with my very cheap multimeter here. Uh, I got this from um, MCM Electronics. I think it was like $5 on sale or something. And uh, I'm going to show you here at the... at the. Um, let me see if I can clear it up a little bit for you. Um, where my thumb is right there, you'll see a little arrow with a line up and down. That's the setting I'm going to turn this dial to and I'm going to test for continuity. Now you can see the display shows a number one. This means that the line is open or uh, I'm sorry, there, that there is no connection at all being made between the, uh, the, the two probes. Now if I make a connection between these two probes, what I've done is I've completed the circuit. Now whatever the reading is for us in this application it doesn't matter there's a lot of other applications that use this but basically this shows that oh okay the zeros imply that there is an open circuit and the line implies that there's a closed circuit there's it's not it's not connected so what I did was what I'm gonna do is and hopefully if I can get this to sit just right hey that works perfectly uh, I've connected one of my old RGB uh, connectors here and I'm just gonna go through them I'm gonna make sure that my red matches my red I'm gonna just touch the end with one and this is a little harder to do with a camera and with everything in the way here and I'm gonna touch the red with the black over here okay now I see there's a reading that tells me that there is there is uh, power actually going through this so we, we see zeros, that means the circuit is closed, and that the, the, uh, the reds match up with the reds. Let's go to blue, and blue. Blue and blue give me an open circuit, or closed circuit, so we're good. Let's go to the blacks, because those are the three common colors. Usually they're only going to change if you're changing a wire if you're changing a wire color, I guess they would keep it continuous with the other colors. So the blacks are all continuous. And now I'm going to go to the green and match the green up with the yellow. And I notice that my green and my yellow match up. So whenever I assemble these, all I have to do is remember that, um, that the yellow, whenever I connect this, is going to be my green. And I'm not. I'm connecting to the green inside the controller here. So there's a quick little way to show you how to test for continuity between pigtails and wires. Um, 
Now, I, I went through and I did take the time to, um, to grab a second male connector and uh, I hooked it up just to make sure that the, the original, the first one I grabbed, wasn't actually a bad one. So I went through and I connected this up and I tested these two together to make sure that, you know, that that was the actual correct one because this is a brand new one I've never used. The other one I had used and was a good working one I just took off of a um, of an element that I wasn't going to, uh, that I had had to rebuild for whatever reason. Um, and then what I did was I verified this by using other connectors that I was already using. See, this one was a little dirty. Um, so these two were at one time connected, we'll say, and I know they worked. These work just fine, but I wanted to make sure, so I used a couple different ones to verify my findings because just one plug isn't going to do it. You want to make sure you do it multiple times. Uh, okay, so that, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, leave it below. Thanks. Bye.